Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who is watching this video later on over there. We have the Grixis League. So yeah, this is a donation deck that looks pretty sweet. We have lots of Planeswalkers here in our Grixis colors. Uh, and you can tell it's a donation deck by over here with the uh, DD part there. So let's see what we got going on. So we have Narset, Parter of Ales, Dovin, Hand of Control, Angrath, Captain of Chaos. It's a pretty good title, Captain of Chaos. Anyway, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Sarkin the Masterless, Liliana, Dreadhorde General, and even Nicol Bolas the Arisen. Plenty of Planeswalkers here. Uh, so we, you know, we're going to be kind of defensive uh, with all of our Planeswalkers trying to stay alive, but we also have some aggressive elements too. Sarkin, for example, can turn all of our Planeswalkers into 4-4 four, four red dragon creatures to be able to attack our opponent. And Angrath, really all it's doing is amassing two. So you're like, wait, why are we playing this Planeswalker that all it does is amass two in our Planeswalker heavy deck? And that's because we are also an amass deck. We're trying to amass an army here. We got Dreadhorde Invasion, Enter the God Eternals, Commence the Endgame, all this stuff is amassing. And the reason, like one of our payoffs here, the reason is widespread brutality. We get to amass and then our army deals damage equal to its power to each non-army creature. So that's our sweeper. That's our four mana sweeper there. Um, you know, we get to use our... It's our four mana sweeper that does not kill our army. So this is pretty interesting to do. I have not played a widespread brutality deck before. So we're going to kind of try this out and see how it goes. There's a lot of pretty good stuff here. Um, I'm a little worried about how many fives and sixes we have with a 25 land deck. We'll see how it works out. Uh, we don't really have card draw too much so that's that's like the thing that like right now I, I can certainly see us getting stuck on like two and three lands and then just like having all these cards without any real card draw besides like our search for Cantas. but hopefully that doesn't happen uh that's and let's uh give it a try all right the grixis league uh the most of the donation decks uh, are not decks that I put together myself. They're decks that people donated to see here on um, on stream. Yeah, so we do have Karns. Yeah, there are two Karns Bastion. Uh, I guess they're kind of hidden. Uh, but we have two Karns Bastion in the mana base to help proliferate our Planeswalkers. And we have two Interplanar Beacons to help us fix our mana and gain some life to help stay alive with all of our... Um, Planeswalkers as well. Yeah, I could certainly see this deck playing 27 lands. <laughs> yeah, I could I could certainly see that. But we got we got plenty of lands right now, so that's good. All right, cool. I got you, Sloth. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Storm says, good luck, Todd. This deck looks really spicy. Yeah, this will be a nice one to play if we, if we draw some of our sweet Planeswalkers. Yeah, this Interplanar Beacon. This is going to be my next land drop for sure. It's going to be this Interplanar Beacon. Yeah, we need to get the other colors out for Bolas. Um, maybe I just Angrass Rampage here? So I feel if I, like if I go Bolas, they kill Bolas, then attack me for four. I think I'm actually just going to Rampage here. Okay. An interesting Jun list. I gotcha. So 
So next turn we'll be able to gain two life whenever we play our Liliana. It's just cast also. It doesn't have to resolve. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I've not played Karn's Bastion in any deck yet. This is my first time playing that. Okay, good. They're keeping with the two creatures. Your demise so I can go Liliana. We both sack two creatures. I draw a card, gain a couple life. Could also just go. I could also just tick up Liliana as well. Just gain life. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? I don't think I really have to be too worried about Liliana dying, and if it does, Putrid, you know, she does, we gotta back up. Effective. Which war mythic is a card to craft? I'd have to look at like the mythics again. Yeah, Kefnet, that's a good one. That's a good one, Glaive. Kefnet, and yeah. So he said that Kefnet also. Because, yeah, the, the first cards that came to mind were a bunch of different of the rare Planeswalkers. As far as Mythics go, it's definitely not any of the finales. Being ruthless has its so you have, like, all the finales, all the gods, and then you have, like, Liliana, Gideon, and some others. We got a rainstorm here. Not today. Death is enlightening. Not today. Yeah, Oketra seeing a lot, a lot of play in Bant mid range these days. True. All right, let's kill this. We're gonna have a turn here. Kill that, flip this. Minus this. This power is incredible. Never hurt anyone. And then we'll bring back our Liliana. Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Sure, we don't get two creatures, but that's good enough. I have an empty battlefield. That was a sweet turn. And the Grixis League is doing its thing. Draw two. My knowledge is endless. Jeez. Let's amass some armies. Smelly, but effective. We're gonna win this game anyway. I want to get planeswalkers in play. The past, present, put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, Sarkin. It is happening. The Grixis League. All right, what do you do? All right, I don't think we need that thing. 
Nope. Hmm. So we're just playing against regular old Golgari. I think our deck looks pretty good. What do you think, Hawkeye? Uh, no, I haven't, um, I haven't played, like, the BAM mid-range deck that a lot of other people are playing these days. Um, let's mulligan. Right? I don't keep this. Maybe I want to keep this. I, mean, I really like Rampage and Invasion. I think I'm gonna keep this. On the play, I don't I don't know, but on the draw, we're gonna draw land and we're gonna be fine. Well, they got com take commence the end game. How can you beat that card? Gets to amass two gets to draw two and then amass how many cards we have in our hand. We have a lot of cards in our hand right now. We probably need to take that one. Hey, Jolner, good evening. Cat's name is Hawkeye. I guess that doesn't really help me cast the Rampage. Yeah, Hawkeye is the best boy. Ugh. You gonna sit on my lap, Hawkeye? Come here. Mm. Do people in chat to see ya? There you are. Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> he tries to sleep on the keyboard all the time. Actually, he was named after the Iowa Hawkeyes, uh, both Hawkeye and myself. Are from Iowa. Oh no! 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 Uh, we don't have any basics in our deck. This battle to your record of bad My decisions. My acute awareness of your imperfections is maddening. That was a very quick take on the Ascanta there. About to have a Carnage Tyrant come on down. Alright, that's a good that's a good start. I find your attacks unoffensive. No, I think Dovin was working for Bolus. I believe. Or just like trying to convince people that Bolus was good or something like that. Speed. 
when pursuing creativity. Defy convention. Yeah, it's raining pretty hard outside, isn't it, Hawkeye? Uh, yes, yeah, so Dovin and Bolas aligned. Bolas installed him as the new Azorius leader after Vraska killed off the old one, which I think was just Azor. Ah, I'll have you in chains next Alright, draw time. blue blue mana, please. Blue mana. Wow, we're doing it. Yeah, Azor was the Perun, but, you know, with the Assassin's Trophy, you know, Vraska killed Azor. Don't seem to bother. That was my plan, my 6-6 six, six lifelinker. Oh, I have it wrong. Oh, Vraska killed Asperia. Azor is still chilling on Ixalan. I have just the trick for this. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. Hmm. I guess this isn't going to really work, is it? Right. Okay, well. That really didn't work. That has a lot of text there. It, it even scrolls. I shall miss your company. I'm glad they didn't attack me with that carnage iron. Forward to seeing your mistakes. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. All right. Well, I wait. Kind of wasted that widespread brutra uh, widespread brutality. Wild animals, I like. People sometimes rest. Uh -oh. always survive. You'll see. But if we draw another widespread brutra brutality now, widespread brutality. All right, Hawkeye, we got to worry about this Carnage Tyrant. What else we got against Carnage Tyrant? Not very much. Well, we got some good stuff. I mean, you know, Rampage making it sacrifice, Liliana making them sacrifice. We have some good stuff. I like our chance for the third game. No, Thud is not worth it in this deck, no. Hey, Dragonborn, everything is good. Uh, Deckmaster should be working, as far as I know. Ugh. All right, love it. So we get 
as Kanta down on turn two right away to help us hit land drops. I'm playing that over invasion on turn two. Because we're going to need to hit land drops. It's the one thing I'm not so sure about with this deck. I don't think I want to play Thief in this matchup. I think the widespread br brutality is going to be like an important card of like killing all of our opponent's creatures kind of thing. I don't think I really want Thief. I don't like Thief with when like trying when my, when the opponent has like creatures that they get to be more aggressive than you and you need like sweepers to kill their creatures kind of thing. I don't I don't like Thief in that kind of matchup. Keep finding land, Escanta. Not a land. Land. Ugh. Not quite. That's all right. We get one more. We get to Brutality. Brutality is going to be awesome here. We do need one more. I mean, it would have been great right there just to save us all this life. I'm glad they're not doing play crafter. All right, come on, we we got to get this fourth land here. We are dead if we don't draw land. Land. All right, we're doing it. Need to play some planeswalkers, gain some life. Grixis endgame. <laughs> and drops. Very good. Yeah, this Kanta has been really clutch. We're not close to flipping it with only three cards in the in the graveyard. Ooh! Oh no! We don't have any basics. No! I was so excited how like that basic was gonna get us commence for a bigger number. Ugh. So we're, um, just say no. Playing this would let us, uh, certainly cast commence the next turn, but we'd be casting commence for one smaller number. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. I, oh, I was getting bored anyway. All right, well, maybe we just do this. Gain a whole lot of life. Really, we had four lands on top? Unfortunate milling situation. Everyone is expendable except me. You have 
been analyzed and found wanting. Yeah, we could have killed Vraska, got that out of there. And then we wouldn't have to worry about Vraska killing the Escanta here. I tried, you know, I put them at the one turn clock of dealing seven to them, putting them down to seven. Tried doing that. All right, Sloth. Take care. This is mass stuff's pretty cool, though. Widespread brutality is pretty sweet with all these, all these mass cards. I hope they're not trying to cast Vrass's Contempt. I think maybe they're going to try to cast Vrass's Contempt instead of playing this Jade Light. But Dovin says that it costs one more, and so they couldn't actually Contempt. Yeah, Brutality was definitely really solid there. Hey, what's up, Soul Farmer? Man, it is pouring rain here. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I, I doubt you can because of how the mic good the microphone is and stuff, but all I hear around me is rain, 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 rain. <laughs> Raindrops are falling on the roof. Alright, we got Searcher's Cant on turn two again, which is awesome. That should help us hit our land drops. Looks like, I, looks like I need a reset arena. gonna keep it but I can't cast it but it's it's really hard to get rid of this card in this matchup all right we did it second blue source also the, the enter the god eternals really needed a blue source so perfect I'm going to go ahead and just kill both of their things besides just playing Nicol Bolas the Ravager here. Get their creatures off the battlefield. Alright, going for land now. Let's try to get to enter the God Eternals. Alright, they finally got three lands. What are they doing with three lands? Not a ton. Not a ton. And I'm milling myself, uh, you know, to help flip this as Kanta, make sure they don't get like a risk factor. We did it! Alright, as Kanta was awesome. Easy. All right, what do we have in our sideboard? I mean, cast downs and maybe like negate duress. Definitely the cast downs though. Um, this is kind of scary. Like the whole lose life thing is really scary, but you know, the whole life link thing is really nice. I'm not sure exactly. Thanks, Yud. Why self mill with God Eternal so we don't hit 
risk factor on their side and also so we fill our graveyard for Escanta on our side. Yeah, we have a lot of cards we could take out. Um, I don't I don't know if I really want to do Dreadhorde Invasion. I think it's it's really risky. I don't think I do. If I'm not doing that, I'm not doing Commence. Sarkin can end the game really quickly. I like Sarkin. I don't think we need an Angrath at that point. Don't love, like, Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Like, what is this card going to do? Just... I don't think that card's going to do anything. I want to replace Nicol Bolas Dragon God. I guess I'm going to play Thieves Andes. I suppose. Hmm. We don't really need to be worried about our land drop situation too much. No, I am not shocking. I don't think I'm going to need to cast Negate next turn. Just to rest here. Tybalt and double light up. I guess maybe I was going to need to cast Negate the next turn. So do I give them Divination or this Planeswalker? I, I think I give them Divination. I wouldn't say Light Up does nothing without a creature. I mean, it's, it's still Divination. You know, next turn they get to play those two. Honestly, maybe I should just be widespread brutality there. Yep, I probably should widespread brutality first. Yep. Ow. I still like where we're at, though. Well, certainly gonna widespread brutality before I play Thief. Huh. Alright, we are 2 0. I don't think that hands a keep, though, from the opponent. So do you keep four mountains to light up the stage and a Tybalt? That doesn't seem like a hand worth keeping to begin with. Oh, let me do a reset here. Let me do a reset. Yeah, we just face Mono Raid. Chilix says, I beat it to Fairy Emblem while doing nothing. After 23 turns, they finally messed up and clicked draw card instead of tucking to Fairy and then lost. <laughs> Gotta play to your outs for that 1% chance. <laughs> So 
Sand looks pretty sweet. All right, King J, let me know how it goes. Yeah, keep, keep me updated on how it's going. Uh, resetting because Arena had been on for a few hours and was getting pretty jumpy. It has like a, a memory leak where after a few hours it has like a little bit of a delay. So help help clear that up. This is whatever your plan. We got a gate deck here. Statistically likely to fail. That was certainly the card I wanted to see the least. Was Guild Summit. Frustrated if you had fewer flaws. Let's get Sarkin. Good. Try to get aggressive here. Can attack for twelve next turn. Even if this thing grows bigger, though, we do have the Dovin that just gets to check it. Come on. Attack. Summon you. Now when Sarkin starts attacking, you're dead. You're dead. All right, so against gates, what do we want to do? I mean, Ashiok isn't bad. It stops their four mana sorcery that goes and searches their library for some gates and puts them into play. That's kind of cool. Yeah, circuitous route. Stops that. The whole exile their library thing isn't, or exile some cards in their graveyard isn't the, the biggest deal. But if we can play good enough defense, maybe it kind of comes down to decking them. And we just minus a bunch and deck them. Ashok kills Colossus. Oh, it just gets rid of Colossus for good if we kill Colossus. Yeah, I do think we want Duress and Negate. I'm just kind of debating on the Ashiok. Then cast down is good then, because then we can kill. Yeah, we can have cast down pair up with Ashiok. Those should be able to work. Um, so that's a lot of cards. I think I don't want. Narset keeping them from drawing multiple cards a turn is actually really good too. Huh, I guess I guess we gotta cut down like these things. I'm running out of time. I guess I just cut down the uh, mass stuff. All that other stuff is is good.
Alright, let's draw some lands. Yeah, Enter the God Eternals isn't very reliable on killing anything. Their creatures are usually bigger than 4-4. And it also costs 5 mana. So if you have a 5 mana spell that doesn't reliably kill their thing, probably should, doesn't need to be in the deck. No, our, our opponent's usually not very good at handling Planeswalkers. Uh, could have things like Mass Manipulation. Well, this... This Karn's Bastion's annoying here. Wilderness Reclamation. Rut Row. Do I actually like thin their deck? I am your greatest fear. They're playing Wreck, you know, that most likely means they're playing Nexus, and I don't even know if that means it's good to minus one then. Doesn't sound like it is. Because Nexus doesn't get exiled, it doesn't go to the graveyard. So I feel like I would just be thinning their deck for Nexus. That doesn't sound great. Really? Devious cover-up? Really? Sure. Yeah, if they ever play an Ascanta, then we then we'll I'll remove the graveyard for Ascanta. You know, like whenever it, like if they ever draw an Ascanta. Ugh! I can't play this. That's right, because we have this colorless land. <laughs> I don't regret not minusing at all. Yeah, I'm certainly glad I'm not minusing. I think minusing against a, the Nexus deck is not a good idea. Unless they have... Like, if they have an Escanta out, yes, then I'll change tactics. But there's no Escanta in play right now. I guess I could just proliferate and just put a counter on this thing. I should have done that. I wasn't doing anything else with my mana. Alright, so I should have put a counter over here. They're a Nexus deck. I'm not milling them in and thinning their library for Nexus. I don't have any interest in doing that. I don't, I don't need to exile their graveyard right now. It's, it's fine. We can keep Ashiok here. Everything's fine. Hawkeye is back there. He's right. He's, you know, he's behind the table. He's back there, laying down asleep. Yeah, Bol Bolas has the has this plus one ability to make zombies. Um, I 
You guys still want to draw cards? <laughs> oh, Y'all are really impatient with Ashiok. I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. like a fun new toy so instead of playing Dovin here we're gonna keep Karn's Bastion available and get another counter on the Bolas and the Liliana I don't need to mill my own library to get rid of their graveyard getting rid of their graveyard doesn't isn't like a big deal at all just don't need to do that. Ooh. There's a card. Anyone would be so foolish as to I will call attack dragons. Attack. Just because just because you can do something doesn't mean you need to do something. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. They're drawing all the cards. They're tapping all their their mana. If you tap all your mana, you just die. You can't play anything. And I have all these planeswalkers that kill you. That card's cool. Oh right, reclamation on taps lands. Never mind. I forgot about that. <laughs> Definitely a good thing we're never milling our opponent. We could lose here. They have, you know, more reclamations. We can't block that gate, Colossus. All they gotta do is take the next three turns and I'm dead. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it looks like we're probably dead. Yeah, they had nothing in hand, you know, or anything, and then they just draw a guild summit and here, here you go. That was a really nice comeback. Uh, they should just be able to kill us. You know, anything that deals three damage. You know, a, a Nexus of Fate, another explosion, anything like that. We'll be very lucky if they don't have anything that kills us. So far, that's nothing that kills us. Maybe have all of those cards, they didn't find a Nexus. Nope, they did. Yeah, zero cards to drawing 15. Not so bad. Alright, seeing what kind of deck they are, let's get these Thieves in. Get this Angrath out. Get these Ashioks out. 
and play thief. All right. I want to take their nexuses with thief. Take their counter spells. The dread horde. Yeah, I could see Ugin being okay in our deck uh, to help with enchantments. I could see that. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Ugh, not Guild Summit. Drawing three straight lands out of the gate. Certainly not good for us. I'll have too much of a clock here. Why couldn't you have that card last game when I had the Ashiok that wasn't doing anything? Come on. All right, let's draw a spell. Any kind of planeswalker. Just take, just give me something to do. Give me a negate or a duress or a planeswalker. Give me anything. All right, I guess we're doing that. If we're gonna draw a land, I guess that was the one to draw. Reclamation is certainly the offender. All right, kill that. This is all I got. We're trying. This Dreadhorde Invasion is trying over here. I'm... Even, even if we play the next Karn's Bastion, we need to play the other two lands before we could double proliferate. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, we tried. We were doing okay until the Reclamation. <laughs> yeah, why, where's our, Do our Dovin ult? Can I like minus on my opponent so they can't explosion? They can't cast explosion? I wish it worked like that. Of course, I love, love drawing the negate. That's, that's definitely a good one. So they get the next two turns. I 
I can't let them have another turn. Or at least I can't try. That means we're dead. Because they get two more turns, that's 30 right there on the battlefield. All they, have to do, all they need to do is play one single gate, and obviously they'll have a gate, so. We did not draw well that game. Drew all the lands, but... Oh well. Alright, we're two and one. Let's try not to face Wilderness Reclamation, please. Yeah, that deck had two really bad enchantments for us. Not only Wilderness Reclamation, but then also Guild Summit. Guild Summit was just a killer. And of course our Grixis deck, we couldn't deal with it either. The Guild Summit drew, you know, like 10 plus cards. Like three mana draw 10. It's pretty good. Eh, it didn't draw 10. It drew like 7. Alright, next game. Let's see what we got. We haven't had as much of a problem hitting land drops as you know I was worried about at the beginning of the league. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, I could see playing Ugin instead of Command the Dread Horde. I don't I don't feel like Command the Dread Horde's necessary. That's switching out a 6 for a 6. And you can also, you know, like, gains, gains the life here with, like, the beacons and all that kind of stuff. Alright, we got a Grixis Mira. Trigger, trigger. Let us fight. Dragon. Yeah, Ugin's pretty good. I can see playing Ugin over Command the Dread Horde. I think I think it'd be more impactful as a six mana card. <laughs> yeah, we could play just a Vraska Relic Seeker and the dragon does not lose. Just hope we have one of our four beacons. <laughs> I guess probably probably won't again. Stop. Opponent's being a jerk. Oh, I should have played that thing first. Like my, plan, my plan is just playing the Steam Vents. I mean, I should have played that beacon to gain another life. I'm going with Dovin here so that... Because like, if I play Sarkin, make another dragon. If they just kill the dragon, then they get to kill Sarkin. Uh, Dovin, you know, protects itself. Where next turn we can play the Sarkin and make a dragon. And then we don't have to worry about the dragon dying and our Sarkin dying. Yeah, I mean, over commence the end game. Was I saying some other card? Yeah, commence the end game is the card that. I will remake the multiverse in my. I meant the six image. mana card instead of Ugin. If I said some other card. I 
I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. Might demands power. So jealous our opponent has a nickel as dragon god. Yeah, I could get a Dragon God someday, too. You never know. You are all so generous. <laughs> yeah, Sargon's plus one is really weird. To them roar. These I results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. Gosh. A dragon would rather die. All these bedevils. Oh, we're dead. Fortunately, these none of these cards do anything. Right about now. been analyzed and found we're studying Wanting. contrasts. I'm excellent and you're, well, not. Hopefully we top tech and a planeswalker that can beat this bolus. That's gonna be tough. I have other schemes to attend. My intellect is without limit. Yeah, they did. They, yeah, this is a a bolus role player deck. <laughs> That's a good one. Prep coin. Our opponent did come really prepared to kill planeswalkers with their bolus here. It's just like the storyline. Oh no. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. Jealous. I want that one. Ether itself serves me. I'm definitely boarding out these Dovins. Unoffensive. They don't matter. So, of course, they get to kill my Ascanta because they have a new gun. I'm jealous. Ugh. Inglewood Jax, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for the uh, sub again for four months now. You are amazing. Sixth Bay sub of the day. In ghost fire. Thank you, Inglewood. Opponent's playing so slow too. It's like this game's like over. Just can you, can you do something? 
<sighs> Alright, there we go. Alright, what's the next card? Ah, thank you, Inglewood. Alright, get these Dovins out of here. Let's get these Negates. Duresses. And Macron! Also getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Thank you very much, Macron. The Matrix is 20 years old? Wow. I guess this is a Casmina. I mean, I guess this is what Casmina is in our sideboard for. Yeah, I guess. So Casmina does. We'll bring that in. We're going to cut these brutalities. This gives us 65. If we get rid of Enter the God Eternals. 62. Maybe not Casmina. I think I like Commence the Endgame more than Casmina, I think. I mean, all these cards are pretty good. No, no, Angrath is good. I'll play Kasmina instead. I want the four mana card instead of the six mana card. Hey, what's up, Balding Yeti? Keeping the sub hype going. Thanks, y'all. Karn's Bastion. Oh, I have not heard the acoustic version of this. I do really like the song. Where's our land drops? We were doing so good at land drops before. Remember like last game? We were doing great at land dropping. No. Thanks, Hail Rock. Opponent's not doing so good at land dropping either. Yeah, sub battle stream. We are we hit our goal yesterday for the next sub battle stream. I was thinking just Saturday again. Sub battle Saturday has been pretty popular. Oh come on! Well, the six mana card would certainly not be better than Kasmina here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That'll change. That'll change. You'll get picked. You'll get picked. Finally. Now they already have their Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. Just 
Just don't really want to play a two mana card here when we finally have four mana. Okay, we're doing it. Alright, I'm doing something a little off here. We're getting Kasmina into play. War is to make it so like their bedevils and stuff have a, a more difficult time of killing my things. I'm obviously not gonna minus and let it just have it die immediately to the Nicol Bolas. I was hoping that they weren't gonna just hit another land drop. Kind of the problem with having Karn's Bash in our deck, though. That would have been great just to be able to play our Nicol Bolas and kill theirs. Of course, then our ours would have died to theirs. Of course. I cannot exploit. Unruly and naive. It does seem like this is like what we're missing is a card like Discovery that helps us smooth out our draws. But that's really the best in these kind of like longer matches against, you know, like aggressive decks who just try to rely on curving out. Hey, Zan. I'm not very big on Bedeck Bedazzle. It's like kind of hard to cast. It's not really that hard to cast. No, I'll take that back. Um, but the Bedeck part doesn't kill a lot of things. I've had it, had it too many times where it's not killing creatures. My revenge that I don't like it. For.
Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? Wow. Absolute perfect draw step. Maybe the only draw we had in our deck. Let's go the absolute perfect draw step. That card's incredible. <laughs> Lilian is so good. Oh, it's so good. Mortality suits me well. No. I defy it as consequence. All right, good thing we had this Casmina that was chilling here. You will feel the lick of my flames. They are coming. And take out Bolas. My schemes you wipe your blood are ruined from existence. Mina's doing her job. It's our second bolus down. Like two of each boluses and two thieves down and an Ugin. There you go. Good job, Casmina. All right, get rid of something over here. This is a Planeswalker battle. Cry of the Carnarium. Behold. What are you doing with that card? And we're actually like in a okay spot here for how how rough this was for us, but that Liliana was just so crucial, and then Sarkin is able to take care of their Nicol Bolas, and yeah, we are we're kind of doing it. If my opponent had Liliana now, we would die. We'd just be dead on the spot. Just actual dead. Yeah, the new Sarkin is really cool. That's minus three to make a dragon. So let's pr proliferate, put counters on those two, make a new dragon. Come to me. I'm thinking maybe the Gruul midrange deck that I've played, instead of having like Ilrog and Ronus and stuff like that, it should just have like Sarkins and just be like, Green, red, planeswalkers. Like gruel aggro walkers. Keep our dragons alive. We want to make sure this thief isn't hitting us. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Chandra, Sarkin, Domri. You, sacrifice a creature. Wow, we're gonna pull this one off. Look to the skies. At least it looks like that. Right now. Oh no! Well, they got they got the Liliana at the My right time for us. Will envelop this world. Let's reduce the I mean, if it was earlier, it would have been really bad for us, but now is not so bad. Come to me. So I can kill Liliana and still have a one-turn clock with these two dragos. I'm exhausted. Mishka says, I'm not a fan of Chandra in that because if you turn Domri turn three, you can't Sark in turn four. I mean, you still can, you know. Things don't always work according to plan. Also, you can still play Sark in before Chandra. Just because something is not your absolute perfect curve does not mean that you shouldn't be playing it. That's pretty ridiculous. All right, Enter the God Eternals is... That's going to be better than Kazmina and Angrath. I'd right, be replacing those. Gives me more fives, though. Hey, what's up, 619? Uh. We got us Kanta on turn two. Hopefully we don't get thought erasured. Well, I would recommend having more than four four mana cards when you're saying Chandra versus Rekindling Phoenix. I'd recommend you, you would play all four Rekindling Phoenix, then you can also play a couple Chandras as well. You're obviously playing Rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, you can you can play both. Just four cards that cost four mana, and that's it. It's probably not correct. Uh, I have not played an Orzov Knights deck. I've played it. I have an Orzov Midrange deck. I've played some that has History of Analia and Midnight Reaper as far as knights go. And then like it's aggressively slanted. It has uh, Danto Vanguard, Tithe Taker, Dreadhorde Invasion, Gideon, a Soren, a Johnny. It's pretty awesome. You can find it on the Stream Decker page, but it's not specifically Knights. All right. Well, unfortunately, they they, they did have the Thought Erasure for Maya's Kanta. And that's what I was really, really relying on, as you can tell. Let's see if we draw black mana, hopefully. And could just play like a thief here. I brought in the Enter the God Eternals because they have Thief and Bolas, you know, cards that I want to be killing with it. Wow, what a draw. Go, Thief, go. Go, Thief. So they need removal, because they know if, if they just play a creature that I have removal for it. Bleh. 
All right, they had removal. <sighs> Control is really, really good, Casey Kid. Yeah, they've. The blue. Blue is the best color in standard. It's very good. Um, the deck we're playing here, I, I myself, I just. You know, I'm playing a control deck right now, but I, I play lots of different decks all the time. Uh, this, you know, we're playing different donation decks here. We got Chromatic Black. It's our up, deck up next. Let's go with the Bolas and really hope we draw a fifth land so we can have Thief plus Rampage or Negate, depending on what my opponent plays. That's a bad sign. Said. I have just the trick for this. <laughs> you are a mighty warrior. I concede. I think I'll let them bedevil Thieva Sanity. If I don't play anything and try to hold up Negate, they just pass to my turn and can use the Bedevil on my turn, and I just waste all that mana. So I think, with especially with having this Nickel Bolas Dragon God, might as well just play it. And we drew another one. We have been drawing really well. So you say, maybe this is the match for Ashiok? What would, what would Ashiok do? In exchange for eternal servitude. Ashiok prevents discard. I am death's master. I don't think Ashiok prevents discard. I thought it just prevents people from searching their libraries. I will return one day. Tamiyo prevents discard and sacrifice. If that's the card you're thinking of. Um, I have not seen it, Electro Domestico. Oh, we are really drawn well. I mean, drawing a land would have been good for us too, though, but... Besides a land, that was like the next best. We've gotten really lucky in this match. And even though the Enter the God Eternals would have put another 4 4 into play and gave us 8 power into play to threaten lethal, I was, I was worried about like the Nickel Bolas getting discarded and you know they could just have another removal spell and stuff. And I, I wanted the, my two best threats both in play while we knew, knew that it was going to resolve.
What? Uh, lesson for people watching, do not play on Mordigo in this kind of matchup. There's lots of different threats. There's tons of different threats. That's just that's just a dead card that they just had in their hand that they just had to spend three mana on. Sarkin, of course, just doesn't isn't important for us to have. There's no reason to have on Mordigo in their deck. It's like while while we've been like trading back and forth and everything, like that could have just been, you know, anything else. Anything else. They honestly should just keep that in their hand to exile, so they have to exile something. Just get rid of that card. I outsmarted you eons ago. Why would you think why do you think tapping all of the red sources would be a good idea? What are you thinking, Doug? The path put thoughtfulness before action. March into battle and make new comrades. Liliana's good. Uh, get out of my way. Like making them get rid of, you know, like one of their lands or their card in hand. Also, <laughs> you were taking the rampage before. I mean, we. We're going to see a lot of cards. You're going to see six cards our next turn if there was like some planeswalker played like that. Or, you know, a creature. You know, we would have our draw step, our draw step from Nicol Bolas, and also Narset minusing. If it was something that was like vital, us finding a, a, a removal spell for. Uh, we would have been able to Narset minus, and if that whiffed, then Nicol Bolas minus. If it was like really vital that we need to find something, we could have dug farther. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, mobilized district. Yeah, that that card's pretty nice. I like I like that land. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Are never ending. Oh, just minus three their thing and kill them? Oh, right. <laughs> Alright, I guess I had lethal. The whole of the multiverse will bear. Yeah, I could have minus three the zombie will. token. I forgot about that part of Nicol Bolas. There's so many things I was thinking about. I was thinking about like the you know like the minus four with the Liliana and the plus one over there, and you know just all the different things. Forgot about that one. <laughs> I don't know why Bolas punishes whenever you tick up, easy to find in war. but it does. Yeah, I could certainly lose now. <laughs> that was the worst. Miss it. Yeah, I missed that lethal, and then uh, my opponent drew that bolus to kill my bolus. That was kind of the worst. And we've just been whiffing ever since that rampage with the Narset minus whiff, and then and those. But obviously, I had I had lethal, so I shouldn't be complaining about whiffing. 
which I wasn't really complaining. I was just saying that I was. We still got a draw step, though. like the easiest block of my life. I've learned much. I know they can't draw the extra card. At least I didn't miss that thing. Smelly, but effective. Everything is power, and I am everything. This is going to be tougher to win. Yeah, if we don't yeah, we don't have cards bashing. If if we had cards bashing, I could proliferate the NAR setup and look for something. But we don't. I don't think I give them the draw. Such violence is upsetting. Well, Narset was dying, so if I block, Narsa would be dead and it would, the trigger would still would still go on the stack and Narsa would be dead and they would draw their card. I'm glad they didn't Liliana ult first. It's kind of good for us. It's kind of good. I mean, it's obviously we're in a horrible spot, but I guess they do have to be a little worried about Liliana ult because if we draw a removal spell, they're in trouble. So they may tick up again. All right, yep, I had the ability to win that game, and I did not. Hey, okay. Yeah, I boarded out the brutalities, unfortunately. Brutality would have been uh, nice there, but boarded those out. Yeah, I didn't, my deck didn't help me out. You know, after we found the Rampage for the first Liliana, Narset missed by seeing three lands and a Nicol Bolas, and then we drew three or four lands after that. So our deck didn't help us out at all. The second Liliana and then the Nicol Bolas got me. 
but yeah, I had I had a spot for lethal. Oh well. Uh, as far as the deck goes, certain things I I liked the the whole amass stuff, like the amass planeswalkers. I liked how this deck. I liked. I really liked how this deck played. Um, oh yeah, it's, I mean yeah, I can't complain about. I cannot complain about how we were drawing. Our our deck was, our deck drew really well, for most of that. Um, in general, though, I I don't like having twenty five lands and no nothing really to smooth the land drops out or like no ways to like no real like real card draw. Like Narset only gets spells. Like if you're missing land drops, Narset's not going to help you out. Like we we have the the two Escantas and they were incredible. I could even see playing like a third Escanta because that card was just awesome for us. Dovin's okay, but there's a lot of matchups where Dovin's not very good. I'm not sure if we need three. Angrath seems pretty unnecessary, or at least not near like not that we need three of them. And then I think I think how we're talking about I think Ugin would be better than commence the end game. But this could certainly be another land like Angrath or and like maybe or maybe just like some some card draw spells, uh, some ways to to smooth out draws whether it's like discovery or um, anything like that. Like that's like instead of like the three Angraths and one of the Dovins, maybe that could be like four discoveries to kind of help out. Something there like help you find like widespread brutality or enter the God Eternals when you need it or you know, find, like, a Planeswalker when you need it kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, we could have, like, Ugin instead of Commence the Endgame. Uh, yeah, Chemistry's Insight, yeah, another option. Tamiyo's Epiphany, I don't think I like as much. I'd rather have, like, Discovery or even... I mean, I, I've always kind of liked Chart, of course, even if you're not... Even if you're just paying two mana... Um, draw two, discard one. It just It's, like, really fast Velocity... And um, even if we're playing Opt, Opt is like something you can just have in there for one mana really cheaply. That's a good card. I don't like the Karns Bastions. If I think if you want a Karns Bastion, you can have one. And I think Karns Bastion could be like a 26th land, like one is a 26th land. But it does, like, it wasn't relevant unless it's like really late game, where even when it was really late game like that, I probably want something else. But. Multiple games we weren't able to cast Nicol Bolas on turn five because of this Karns Bastion, and I don't like that too much. Um, I mean, it does pair okay with the the Planar Beacon, you know, like how you can you can tap it with the Beacon, but that didn't come up for us. But I don't think you need a second one. I don't know if it's really that powerful that you need two. It's cute, and it did get to do some 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 nice stuff for us. But this feels like a 26th land to me. Like where you already have 25 other lands to help you with Bolas, and this is like your 26th. Because um, drawing two of them, like if you have like, you know, two in your opener or like, uh, you know, like two in like your first 10 cards or whatever, it's just really, really bad whenever we have uh, spells like Angrass Rampage that we're trying to cast and Thief of Sanity and stuff like that. Yeah, those could be those could just be basics. Um, yeah, these these could just be basics. Honestly, like that that certainly hurt us some of not having basics to go find from Field of Ruin, Assassin's Trophy stuff like that. So yeah, I like the Ugins. I like yeah, maybe even like a third as Kanta. Um, as far as sideboard goes, because Casmina is not good enough for standard. Just get this out of your deck. Like this this card is not not powerful enough for standard. Uh, Ashiok doesn't do anything. I would get that out of the deck also. I, I mean, it. yes, you can talk about like the l really little things that it kind of does, but there are just a lot better cards. I would not play Ashiok or Kasmina at all. Um, if you... Yeah, like, there's just... Yeah, it's just so... So uh, narrow. Uh, Tyrant Scorn is good. Yeah, but I was happy with the Rampages there. But, I mean, I, I love Tyrant Scorn, of course. Like, I I love that card. It's incredible versus all the Phoenix decks. Is it? Certainly seen plenty of Phoenix players just, you know, on their turn after they play. You know, whenever they untap with, like, their two-mana creature on their turn, they just chart a course and put their Phoenix in the graveyard and all that kind of stuff. I mean, there are certainly, like, times where if, like, they have their Phoenix in the graveyard... 
And then if you draw your Ashiok and get to play it right then, it's just such a car corner case scenario. Like, I'd rather just have Lava Coil. It's just a lot more reliable way to get rid of a Phoenix than, like, have their Phoenix in the graveyard and you drop your Ashiok at that time and exile it. And that's not a very big part of the metagame either. Just need more reliable cards. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of these two things. I liked the whole Amass thing. I really liked Widespread Brutality, and I liked Enter the God Eternals. I wouldn't mind another Widespread Brutality in the board for, like, creature decks. Just to, you know, get a fourth one in the deck. This was a pretty nice four-mana sweeper. Well, Crackling does not, doesn't do anything against Crackling Drake. It just makes Crackling Drake better, because Crackling Drake counts Exile also. So it just makes it better by, like, if you mill them, that is. Um. So as far as, like, other cards to play for, like, the Ashiok Casmina slot, um, I mean, I've been happy with Unmordigo with all the Nexus running around. I would have mined some Unmordigos. Um, and, I, like, two of those, and then, like, one of, one of those widespread brutalities. Maybe another duress or negate. Three counter spells isn't a ton. So like maybe another negate or or another thief of sanity. Something like that. Okay, so so basically if we go with something like I'll kind of put it in here so it's easier for you to see. There you go. So we got Ugin's. Um, and get rid of Angrath. Maybe just the other Brutality in the main deck. I guess like a swamp in an island. Another brutality over here. Um, and then two Unmored Egos. Then basically, so you have like one sideboard slot for whatever you want here. Um, and then main deck got three extra slots. Like could have, like we we're talking about, just another Escanta because of how good that card is. And then two extra slots for like some some kind of card draw or something. Like maybe a couple, uh, maybe just a couple discoveries. Something you don't need like a ton of, but helps smooth everything out. Yeah, we could could have uh, instead of the instead of the sideboard brutality, could certainly have um, cry the carnarium if we're like worried about phoenixes. That's also like pretty good against mono white and stuff like that. Uh, you could also have ritual of soot if you want to make sure you can kill uh, wild growth walkers and everything. So yeah, there we go. That was the Grixis League. That was pretty sweet. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much, Dr. Grindle, for this deck, for the donation deck here. And there we go. Um, hope you hit the subscribe button over there, and I will see you for another video.